Hi, welcome, namaste. Um, uh, alright, that was retarded. <laughs> um, Control Suite 5 here, and this is an Xcode tutorial for Xcode 4.3.3 to make a Mac browser, web browser, alright? Um, it's gonna kind of look like this. Alright, and, oh, that was weird. Um, what's gonna do, just to show you what it, it works. Boom. You're in YouTubes. Alright, and rewind. Should be working. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, I think I, I haven't done anything yet. Uh, for, yeah, Facebook. All right, and then rewind works. All right, so first you want to do is you want to open up Xcode. All right, Xcode 4.3.3. Now, thank you to this Xcode and all these. You've got a file, new project, file, new project. Click project, take you to this beautiful web opening box and uh, first it starts off default iOS we want to click on a Mac OS X and we got a coca coca coco uh, shit applications double click that want to name it whatever you want I'm just gonna do browser because this is simple I'm just gonna delete it when this video is done to be honest uh, but you can name whatever you want. Like this is beast mode, so I would put beast mode or beast mode browser. You can put it wherever you want. You can put Bob browser. I don't care. Company identifier. It's just your name. Uh, builder identifier. That's what it's gonna be. So it's gonna be your name. Yeah, your company identifier dot your your product name. Class prefix. You want to skip that. App store category, you want to skip that unless you're going to be uploading it, but this is just for fun and for friends. Uh, create document based application. No, that's just for um, if you want to do any editing because Xcode, the script will be made so you could edit the script through document based application, but we're not going to be doing that. Uh, my document or document extension, forget that. Um, just to do the default, use core data. Use automatic reference counting include unit tests all right I'll give you a second to do all that all right we're in next um, you want to choose where you want to save it to desktop most likely the best thing you could possibly do because it's easier create it'll create it loading all right, it takes you to this. Um, on the left side, if you have it open, like so, over here, you could open and close it. You want to keep it open for now. Uh, it'll show you all these files, appdelegate.h, appdelegate.m. Those are important for um, editing the code, but you're not going to be doing that, so forget that. Open up supporting f files. Open up browser text files. Framework and products. If you look at at, co at the frameworks, there's only a Coca framework and Send Testing Kit framework. So we're gonna add one thing to it. So we're gonna go to the top where it says your name, two targets, Mac OS X, SDK, 10.7, summary over in the middle, a summary where you can put your icon. So we just drag an image there, make sure it's the same dimensions. I'm not sure what the exact dimensions are, so just get a random picture. Just swing it. Um, info. This is info on your application build settings. All the high techy stuff. Go to build phases. Go down to link binary with libraries right here. And we'll open that up. And only Coca framework. So I want to add items right here. Click add. I'll take you to a list of frameworks. So you want to type in web and go to webkit.framework. Double click that. And it's added to your list of frameworks. It's up here. You want to drag it down to your frameworks file so it's just easier. You just drag it and then put it right under frameworks file right here. So simple. And then you want to go to your browser file or your name file where it has your name near the top. And we go to main menu dot xib. All right, and it shows you what it's gonna look like. And if you look, uh, it's got this. This is 
all the things just like here as you can see that's what's going to be on and your name would be right here so uh we're going to this is going to be a simple so we don't need help so i'm going to click on it delete window we don't need view we don't need format we don't need edit we don't need really we don't really need it so just forget it um browser we don't need most of this so preferences we don't need services don't need so just do delete click on it delete it's simple show all don't need hide others delete all right i'm going to leave that click on it open it uh don't want to edit that and this is what's going to look like and that's pretty dumbed down print setup no 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 and no uh what you could do is double click this and edit it to what you want i'm just going to do reload or forward so this is going to be a forward button you want to double click on this command area go to command um left key or right key whatever it is so it's forward so right key and now that's the command double click on this back double click on the command command left arrow key because it's going back physics all right um so that's pretty much done now you want to go to your right if it's closed just click it like this right here it's your utilities um go down to the bottom and it's got a bunch of different items you want to go to object library and then go to web or er, actually just scroll down to the very bottom I mean not the very bottom ish um until you find textured window or panel I'm gonna do textured window so just type in textured window on the bottom and it'll take you to this you want to drag it onto your screen like so so it's on your screen now you want to drag it to the corner simple and you want to expand it so it it fits and it's bigger like so and that's how it's gonna be when you open it up so on your utilities file you wanna go to uh, show size inspector and we'll show you this this is what your desktop's gonna look like you wanna drag your web view or your window like so so it's in the middle you can put it in the right you put it in the left or left right bottom left I don't care just put it in the middle for me like so that's where it's gonna be when you open up the file and now I wanna go back to your object library you wanna put web view it's at the bottom if you can't type um, so you wanna drag that in right here this is where your web view is gonna be so if you open up Google Chrome that's this from there down so this is where you view the web alright so um we're gonna leave this area for search bar backspace and etc and you wanna expand it to where it's stylish enough I guess um alright um make sure it fits cause that's just how good things work uh, put it, you want to have like a little space between, so it looks good. It doesn't matter. Make sure it's perfect. And I think I just pulled it over. Alright, it's good. Now you want to drag it down from this corner, bottom, um, to right about there. So that's the web view. Simple, simple. What's that? All right. Um. Now you want to go back to your objects. Make sure you click on the window itself. So just click window like that. And now you want to go to um button. You can do any buttons. All these work. They're just different styles. I'm going to go round or er, rounded texture button. And you want to drag it right above it so it's a little space. Doesn't matter exactly where it is. But this is going to be our backs button. So just double click it and then type back. So, like so that's going to be our back button when we're done. Add another button right next to it. Put a little space to it and make it look stylish. Double click on that and do forward. 
Ta-da! Ta-da's. And so we got that. Now you want to go to, just go to the top-ish, and then go down to, where is it, where is it, where is it, text field, like so. You want to drag it on, so there's a little space here, and you want to drag it all the way down, because this is where you're going to look up stuff, so um, HTTP colon stuff, so you want to drag it all the way down, because it's going to be big. You never know what you might want to type in. Um, I'm going to put it a little ways inwards so I could put some extra buttons there. All right. So you want to go to your back button, right click it, and drag to your um, web view, like so. Uh, this is, this is going to tell Xcode what this button does. So I'm going to drag it, and it's going to bring up this little window. You want to go to Go Back. That's the command it's going to send, so when you click it, it's going to go back. Pretty simple. Go back. Alright, you've done it for that. Go to forward. Right-click, uh, right drag to the web view. Go forward. Simple. So these buttons go forward and back. This, you're going to click on your web or text edit. Drag down to your web view. And then you want to go scroll down to take string URL from... So, and then colon. So, what's going to go after the colon is whatever you type, www.youtube.com. So, click on that. And now that's uh, such a for use. Um, the button we're going to do, go back to buttons. Buttons. Bavel button. I have no clue what that button does. I've never used it before. Button. 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 Alright. Push button. Put it up there actually I don't want that I don't want this button just get clear don't want it uh, we're gonna just delete that what we searched and we're gonna go down 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 to something that we look that looks interesting that could be um anything uh let's just stick with a pros progress bar or, wait, we're going to do a progress bar. So that's going to show us a progress. Uh, we're going actually, actually, to actually do a button. Uh, we're going to... What's the round buttons? Round button, that looks nice. Put that there. I'm going to put in... Oh, edit it. I'm going to put it in an X. Upcase X. That didn't look good, but whatever, I don't care. Right click down, drag to the web view. And we're going to go to, where is it, stop loading, all right? So that's going to do stop loading if you don't want to stop it, load it. We're actually going to, what's going on here? Uh, I'm going to switch places. I want this, uh, this progress bar to go there, X button to go there. This is not looking good. But actually, forget the X button, all right? Altogether, forget it. Forget about it. Um... What else do we need? Just do whatever you want. I don't really um, want to do anything that's going to be simple. Expand it. Make it look pretty. Ah. Alright. So that's it. And double click on this. So this is where you're going to search bar. Put HTTP colon slash slash. Like so. And uh, that's pretty much what you want to do. If you can add anything, you can do whatever you want. There's a lot of selections here. This is simple. So we're going to click Run. Ugh. Bad. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like when you open it up. It's right here. Browser. Now, I want to do... Uh, for some reason, it didn't put the HTTML, so they're just going to put HTTP colon slash slash then you're going to do www.youtube.com and it's at YouTube what a surprise jeez I didn't expect that but alright uh, that's it and then we're going to go back actually we haven't done anything yet so facebook.com alright we're on Facebook go back back at YouTube forward back at Facebook um, so you that was a little buggy. You want to delete this. This is this is a little loner 
things. Just delete that. Uh, stop running. And uh, you've made a file. So when it's running, you can just drag it over here. It's permanent. Icon, remember, you can just go here and... Drrr, one second. Summary. And drag a icon here. So simple as that. Uh, you have a browser. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Really, just subscribe if this helped you. All right.